All right, guys, Rich here at Lifted Off Road. I am working on getting this plug replaced with a new one. And right now I've got a little tiny bungee cord wrapped around the wiring harness to try to pull up some slack for me. I've got it hooked to the battery tray to try to make it so I can, I don't have to struggle with the wiring harness pulling, fighting me the whole time. So, what we've got here, I think I'm gonna go, oh, a few inches past the plug, probably about four or five inches past that. And here we go. This is the point of no return. Cut that off. Cut that off. Later, I will test this to see exactly how how bad it how bad it did get. Uh, so we've got about 18 gauge wire here. If I can find the right slot that one. Uh, so it sucks about working in these tight confined spaces. You'll cut the wire, strip it off. And twist them up. Twist them up a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, that hurts my back. Wah, wah, wah. Always whining, huh? And let's see, up here, I've got, if I can get, I lost it in the one of the crevices. Up here I've got two, where are we at here, camera wise? I've got two little pieces of shrink, shrink tubing. I will slide one. If I can, need to get all the strands. Anyway, I will slide. I will slide one on one wire. I will slide the other on the other wire. And pull those down a little bit. So I've got those twisted. And on my new wire, the new plug I've got, I've got the two of the same size shrink tubing that I use on the other two wires. I've got two of those on here. And once those are, once I've got this place done, I will slide those up as close to this place as I can get it and shrink them. And then I've got these bigger tubes right here that I should be able to slide over top this and then shrink it down on top of the actual splice. So it should be double, a little bit of double protection there going on. And as far as this wire goes, I think I might cut it off. I'm going to make it a little bit longer than it was originally just to give me some more room to, to play. And some more is you know just some more room it's always good to have some extra wires but i don't want to use this whole length because i've got like i don't know almost a foot and a half of wire on here i don't really want to use all of it so i will cut this off probably about halfway look for some decent spots on here cut this off about halfway and strip it. 18 gauge. I'm going to strip it off oh, about the same length that I stripped the other wire. Give it a couple twists. Alright, 
so here I will go green wire to green wire twist these two together Twist those two together. Got my solder. My solder gun. I'm gonna hold this over. I'll hold this underneath. I hope you can see this. Wait for it to heat up. Waiting, waiting for the heat. Oh, the bottom side is hot. Not quite hot enough to tap the wire yet. It's a waiting game. This part kind of sucks. Waiting for the wire to get hot enough to melt the solder. One of the tricks I was taught was to hold the iron on the material you're trying to solder and wait for that to heat up enough where it will melt the solder. Which sometimes can take a while depending on your soldering gun or your soldering iron like right now it seems to be taking a while the actual tip of the soldering gun is definitely hot enough but it's not quite hot enough to to melt the solder there we go Almost. Without making a huge, a huge mess. Almost had it there for a second. Got a little bit. This is the best way to make splices, by the way, as opposed to the crimping. Let's see, I can melt it on that like that. I want to try to get as much of it in the wire as I can.
think that looks decent. Now let's take a look. Take a look, see. Yeah, well, it's definitely hot. Didn't quite get all the way around the wire. So it makes it hard doing it on the on the vehicle like this. But it's a fairly uh, you can get it twisted around so I can get more of it on the back side. Kind of like low voltage welding, huh? You can almost like welding without all the sparks and the noise. And you definitely don't want to be soldering sheet metal because it's not strong enough for that. But it's definitely ideal for electrical trying to get a nice coating of solder all the way around this splice Let's see, the wire is still kind of hot, but I mean it looks, it looks decent. Now with that, I don't know if you guys can still see it, I'm going to slide this piece of shrink tubing up, oh, and it feels like some of it has already shrunk, oh, seriously? <laughs> it would seem some of my shrink tubing has already shrunk around the wire. Uh, let's pull that. Yeah, it's cooled down. Decent amount. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a, a chore, huh? Alright, I got it to slide. Alright, so that is on that. Let's get this other piece for the green wire. Going with the skinny one first. Slide that down as over the joint as much as possible. Tell you what, let's get this out of the way. I don't know if that's oil or well I know it's oil, but earlier I thought there was a fuel smell. Alright, so we got that slid down over there. Now we're using the big piece to slide down over top of the solder joint as long as I can get it to slide over the solder joint there we go try to get it centered Now, now I gotta heat it up enough to actually shrink the tubing. Wonder how much heat this will put out will it, without touching it. Will that be enough? Not 
really. In that case, that's when you pull out your handy dandy lighter. Give it some twists. Try to heat it up all the way around. Without melting it too much. You don't want to burn the stuff, you just want to heat it up so it shrinks oh so I don't know how well you can see that Let me get you turned around a little bit so I can show you what I'm looking at. Oh, maybe the lighting could be a little bit better. So there's my solder joint that I made. I got it heat shrink, heat shrunk, and soldered. So that's basically what you do. basically how, how it's done pretty much is one way to do it anyway you splice the wires get your splice in there solder it up make sure you put your heat shrink tubing on first because once you get it spliced together you you don't want to be able to put your heat shrink on so <laughs> everybody does that once in a while make that mistake but um yeah put your heat shrink tubing on first get your wires wrapped together get it nice and hot cover it with solder and then shrink your tubing over it so I'm going to get busy with the um, the other wire, and we'll see what happens. All right, and also, before I'm finished, I'm going to put some of this liquid tape over the heat shrink tubing as well to kind of seal up the the little the gaps where the tubing goes in. Try to seal it up a little bit. Got the liquid tape to go on, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey, my girl's home with my mom. So I will see you guys later. Have fun and be lifted. Out.